hello YouTube, hello fellow collectors out there of Hot Toys. Uh, it's really late here at night time here in the UK and uh, I felt that I really wanted to do this figure a good review on this on this on the hence of the reason why a few of you have been asking for the review and uh, I felt that it really needed to be done based on that for me personally it's probably one of the best Vietnam War films that I've ever seen and it won four Academy Awards including Best Picture and I'm talking about the Chris Taylor figure from Platoon now as I say I really like this film uh, the, the 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 acting from the the meeting the leading characters are really it's really good uh, you know and it's and it's one of them films where it, it's just really it just really is I mean it is gritty it's brutal and uh, and it was like one of them films where it just like well a lot of people ain't really sometimes I mean I haven't really sort of seen many reviews on this guy. Uh, I mean, Clipper King done one and uh, Zob's Rombi, but I'm surprised there's not many more because I think this line is pretty awesome, especially when it's from a good film. And uh, it's a military figure, and to be perfectly honest with you, Hot Toys haven't really done any military figures. You know, I mean, there they were, they were some old ones, like with the Alien Marines and... Uh, like with the obviously with older hot toys but when it comes to the sense of like making from like obviously hot toys from now from like 10 years on now they've been making like spider-man they've been making a lot of marvel and dc characters and it's like you know why can't we see something different so when they brought it up on the 2010 catalog i was really i was really quite had a smile on my face in the hence of like you know platoon is a good film and I think it's deserving of of figures, and uh, I've got Sergeant Barnes on pre-order, and then we're just waiting uh, on Ellis, and I think they're doing a Johnny Depp figure as well, because uh, you know Johnny Depp was in it, and uh, you know, and uh, I'm sure they're going to make four out of this line, so, and it's a must for me, as I say, I really like Platoon. And uh, and it's just one of them films where I just look at this collectible and just say I need to collect the uh, the rest of them. So onto the figure, guys. We we'll start with the bottom. Obviously, there you go with the stand. Just the original stand as you get from Hot Toys, which is pretty cool. Uh, the boots are very nice, uh, very worn out at the tips of the toes. Got a lot sort of a a wear out where he's been going through the, the mud or you know and uh, just scrapes of like you know dirt on there the laces are, are real uh, they're very smart as well nicely detailed on the boots I like the boots a lot actually because you know you go on the side there they've got like a navy sort of green to them which is pretty smart uh, so I like the boots so they've made a great they've made a great deal over the years on the boots I know it's not a major thing to look at on a figure but you know I just think they've make a, made a cracking deal and I just really can't wait to get the Barney Ross figure now I know that I think the laces ain't real on that but the laces still look a bit detailed on that and look great the combat trousers as you see from the side quite good pockets and uh, just going up to the to the the jacket or the coat or the jumper or whatever you know it's it's really smart I, I really I'm really into uh, military uh, figures they're really they're really smart so as I say I think this line needs to be completed uh, you've got a watch on the right side of his collar there and you've got his uh, got his scarf and then you've got the headband with a spiky hair uh, which is really cool because you can swap it out with the with this as well to the flat hair which is also pretty good and then obviously the helmet which you can stick on the head as well and it's got when I die bury me upside down so the way I can kiss my ass as in the film which is really which is really smart 
So I've liked the, I've liked the as I really like the detail that Hot Toys have put onto that. There's the uh, backpack, really smartly detailed again. Uh, I mean, it's just awesome. I mean, you know, you know, uh, you definitely need the tweezers to put all this gear together. There's the watering cans, which is a very smartly detailed uh, little item with the uh, with the clips that you have. So it's it's really smart. You get two of them, guys, and then you get little little bags, little pouches here. Just with foam in there, and they're all smart. It's got US on there on both of them. The head sculpt is really good. I mean, that looks like Charlie Sheen, uh, aka Chris Taylor from the film. It looks absolutely f phenomenal. Uh, there's a lot of people moaning about the mouth being open, but you know, I mean, open, closed, wide open, don't really matter. As long as it's Chris Taylor, Charlie Sheen, so that's all that matters. And it's like they've got like a little added dirt mark onto the side there, just below the, the sideburns. But that, that's uh, that's Charlie Sheen. That's that's Chris Taylor. That's 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 phenomenal. I mean, Hot Toys. You know, as I say, the early military figures like Alien Marines. You know, the the, the equipment on them, the accessories on them were great, but the head sculpts were really off. Were really off, and uh, people have been getting like a redone of. Uh, of Hicks, and uh, I just wish Hot Toys would redo the Alien Marines, but I don't think it'll happen, uh, which is quite of a shame, really. And on to the other accessory pack. Now, I'm keeping these into the thing because I haven't really got much space to pose this Chris Taylor, so you know, I think I'm, I'm, I rarely need space now because uh, I've got like 28 Hot Toys now and like six custom figures, and putting this, putting this somewhere is pretty much of a hassle so I'm keeping the all the accessories back into the box into the figure into the box as well and obviously I need some IKEA display cases which I need really need uh, that bag there keeps the map of how to put the uh, the C4 or whatever you want to call it together I mean the the detail of this figure is just unbelievable for me personally, this has better accessories than what the John Connor Hot Toy has. Uh, I mean, the John Connor Hot Toy is loaded with accessories, but this one has just touched it up a notch. Uh, you have the rifle there. You have the, I mean, you have grenades, smoke grenade. You have the, you even have the spade. You have the, I mean, you have the machete there, the machete case, the knife. You know this, this, this. You got the, uh, you got the spade cover there. You got the, uh, oh, what is it called? Uh, oh, I'm trying to think what that's called. Sorry, guys. Can you, can you tell me what that is, guys? Sorry. Uh, but this, this, this is just loaded with accessories. I mean, Hot Toys. You know they've they've really put their, they put their mark on this guy. Uh, I mean, obviously, because if you, if I mean, I can understand if you're not a big fan of these, of this line, you know, you're not a big fan of the film. But you know, we all have opinions, we all have uh, different tastes, and that it's like I, I really can't, I really, I really, I, I like Metal Gear Solid, but I'm not interested in the line. I'd rather just play the games, really. I, I mean, I'm more into Call of Duty, and that because military is much better in it for me. I, I like military figures. Uh, you know, I'm definitely collecting this line, and it's it's one of them films where it's just really good, and I think Hot Toys with this figure has just really done it justice. I mean, you know, the accessories just speak for for its words. I mean, I mean, let's just take a good look at the accessories. And yeah, well there you go guys, there's my sort of review on this guy. As I say, I'll be collecting the, the rest of the line with Sergeant Barnes and and stuff like that. So, you know, I, f I felt this needed a review. And uh, thanks for watching guys. 
and I'm surprised it's not a big seller. Thanks for watching. Bye.